you don't seem to me like you have any issues speaking up. You don't seem to me like you feel like you're constrained in any way. You're standing up here today. I would say, I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. By every statistic, we are doing better than men. That's a fact, right? Men have a higher, we, we are graduating at a higher rate than men. Men have higher suicide rates. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling. In this video, you are about to witness a fascinating yet all too common scenario unfold. A typical college student, thoroughly steeped in an ideology that has seldom faced rigorous scrutiny or opposition, steps into the arena to engage in debate with Candace Owens. Candace Owens, known for her sharp wit and unwavering commitment to conservative principles, represents a formidable challenge to the untested assertions commonly found in modern feminist ideology. And see, I understand that, but I think also when I listen to you speak and you speak on why you don't like feminism, mm -hmm. I hear a lot of anecdotal work and I hear a lot of personal experience, like your experience in that one class that you had, whereas I've had five, six classes in my gender studies courses right. and I've never experienced no, that, anything that's totally like fine. that. That's ever. totally fine. You know Guys, what I mean? So just I just don't feel like it's fair to studies. take personal No, no, it's totally fine. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm actually talking about the real world consequences of the dangerous ideology telling women that they have to take their clothes off if they should be on TikTok. I'm talking about real world consequences. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm talking like about literally the fact that women are no longer, like they're by and large all climbing the corporate ladder and that children are being seated over to the state. So I was giving you an anecdotal example of what happened in my feminist class, but the repercussions of that are seen everywhere. What I am saying is that what I'm offering to you mm -hmm. is not to feel like you have to give yourself an ism, right? Don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box. Don't feel like you have to put yourself into some weird social constructs. I think that what you'll find with time is that it constrains you unnecessarily. I don't have a problem with the fact if you want to identify as a feminist and you think that there is some fight that needs to be ended. I don't personally think that is that's... Is conservatism not a box any more than feminism is? Well, saying that I have conservative principles, feminism is not being a conservative or being a liberal, right? You're talking about an ideology, right? A system you think I mean, you're... Candace Owens challenges the audience in her interlocutor to question the utility and implications of adopting rigid ideological labels. This conversation is especially relevant in today's polarized society, where individuals often find themselves pigeonholed by labels that may not fully encapsulate their beliefs or values. She posits that adhering too strictly to a label, be it feminism, conservatism, or any other, can inadvertently restrict one's ability to think critically, engage with differing viewpoints, and evolve one's perspectives based on new information or understanding. I mean, I would assume conservatism is also an ideology as well, is it not? Uh, sure. Conservatism is an ideology. These are the things that we believe. You could say that everything is an ideology. What I'm saying to you is that I would not necessarily paint yourself into a corner. You don't seem to me like you have any issues speaking up. You don't seem to me like you feel like you're constrained in any way. You're standing up here today. I would say, I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. By every statistic, we are doing better than men. That's a fact, right? Men have a higher, we, we are graduating at a higher rate than men. Men have higher suicide rates. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man- I can talk about said, sexual assault everywhere in the military in the home so so are these the things that that you're fighting to end sexual assault of course yeah okay great you don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault you don't have to be and but men and women It's a great cause. But it's, of Men course, a and part women of the go through that. I just said to him, one of the biggest things that I give to every year mm -hmm. is for human, human sex trafficking. It doesn't require to be a feminist. Now, yeah. you seem really committed to it. I've said to you since the very beginning, if you want to be a feminist girl, put it on a t-shirt, wear it, put a hashtag. I'm just telling you, don't unnecessarily put yourself into a corner and to recognize that it has never been a greater time. I would offer it as a way better time in this society. Candace Owens challenges the prevailing narrative of systemic gender inequality by highlighting the significant strides women have made, encouraging a re-evaluation of the battles feminism chooses to fight. Candace Owens' critique of modern feminism addresses the disconnect between these advancements and the narratives often promoted within the movement. While advocating for equality and empowerment remains crucial, the focus on perceived systemic inequalities in Western societies overlooks the remarkable progress that has been made and sometimes neglects the real challenges women face globally, such as access to education and healthcare protection from violence, and participation in political processes in less developed countries. Moreover, the debate around feminism and its implications for society brings to light the issue of the breakdown of traditional family structures. Social scientists and commentators like Jordan Peterson have discussed the consequences of devaluing the roles of men and the importance of the nuclear family. Owen's argument also touches upon the ideological shift that encourages individualism and careerism at the expense of family and community cohesion. While individual achievements and professional success are important, 
A balanced perspective that values both personal fulfillment and the contributions of strong family units is essential for a healthy society.